Okay, so I had a customer send me three bolts and this kind of presents a unique opportunity because all three of these bolts are Savage Axis rifles. They're all the same model number, but as you can see, they're not the same. And this is a little bit frustrating, is that from Savage, when you buy a gun, even if it has the same model number, it could even have the same production batch number on it. The, po the parts, the inside will be different, okay? But let's run through these, okay? This right here, this is the very first production run of Savage Axes. They actually had a heavier firing pin and a one piece spring with the pigtail at the end. It was all one piece. Now then for who knows what reason, okay? Savage, they changed two things. And, and this one's actually kind of unique because this actually has the original first production batch firing pin in it, but it has the newer production batch two-piece spring with this little wire ring that goes in between the two of them. And the problem with, you know, they, they made the firing pin essentially lighter. It's, it's actually similar to this one over here. And the problem with this is that about five to 10% of users seem to have light strikes, okay? In other words, this spring, because it's been cut in half and everything, there's not enough oomph to hit your primer hard enough and to make it go off. And then what Savage did is they kind of overreacted to the problem that they created because, hey, the original design was perfect. There was nothing wrong with this at all. Okay, this, they screwed up, okay? And then over here, they tried to fix it and they screwed it up again. <laughs> and so what they did is they put this new spring in here, it's, it's green, okay? It's not black like the originals were. And it's just a little bit longer. I'll put it right next to it right there. You can see it's about a quarter of an inch longer. And the problem with the green spring is that it makes bolt lift almost impossible. It's very, very hard to cock your Savage Axis. So if you have one of these green springs, uh, you can get my bolt lift kit, it helps a lot. You know, or you may even want to consider maybe shortening that spring a tad bit, although I would exercise caution doing that. Okay, now this right here, this is the, the newer firing pin, which in my opinion, they shouldn't have gone to this design. They should have stuck with the original because this is lighter and therefore it doesn't hit the primary harder, hard enough. And, and there's actually a fourth generation out there now it's a very slight difference. What it is is on these, there's a groove on each side for the pigtail, whereas the latest ones that I've seen just have a groove on one side. So there you go. There's sort of like the three different generations, at least the three major different generations of firing pins and Savage Axis guts, okay? And yeah, I don't know why Savage did this, because there was nothing wrong with that, okay? This was a problem, and then this is still a problem. <laughs> okay, the third generation is still a problem because that green spring is so hard to compress. Oh man, it, it just, it makes manipulating the ball a nightmare.